Good morning. Now that the sun is up, I'm seeing national media all around and I'm seeing a crew setting up a stage here. This is where the George Floyd Memorial Foundation plans to hold a celebration of life event for six hours today. But the activity will be put on pause at one o'clock this afternoon. That is when Governor Walls plans to ask for a statewide moment of silence for actually nine minutes, 29 seconds. The amount of time that ex officer Derek Chauvin had his knee on George Floyd's neck. Now, last month, Chauvin was convicted of murder, but a central theme that you can expect to hear throughout today is how more needs to be done in terms of racial equality and justice in policing. That was certainly a takeaway from this panel discussion held yesterday with families who, too, have lost loved ones at the hands of police. Had we not seen what happened to George Floyd, had we not seen what happened to my son Oscar, it would have just been, oh, they resisted arrest and it's just another black man being killed at the hands of police because he deserved it is what would have been said. The pain that I feel that many of the families feel, we don't want that to happen to anybody else. And in order to stop that, everybody has to say something. In addition to the event here held just outside of U.S. Bank Stadium in downtown Minneapolis, which starts at 11 o'clock this morning, by the way, there will also be events at Powderhorn Park and at George Floyd Square. Back to you. Now, there's lots of ways to commemorate the one year anniversary. Thanks, Kaya. We're taking